dear Mrs. Leila Tsitsoyanopoulou, on behalf of the European, it is a great pleasure to present you with this award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It is a great pleasure for the fund to receive this award today. It is an achievement of our tries and our very hard work and uh, a very great, uh, a very large thank you to all of your subscribers for their vote, their trust and their uh, very professional background is uh, a certification to us to work even harder and uh, provide even better and higher results in the near future in our very hard and very ambitious privatization program. Thank you. Good day to all of our subscribers and viewers around the globe. We're here today in Athens at the premises of the Hellenic Republic Asset Development Fund. The Hellenic Republic Asset Development Fund, in close cooperation with the Hellenic government, promotes the implementa implementation of privatizations in the, in, can in the country, having full responsibility for the application of the respective policy. We are joined today by the chairman of the fund, Ms. Lila Tsitsoyanopoulou, to discuss the relevant details. Mrs. Sagenopoulou, welcome. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Um, let me start by asking um, what need gave birth to uh, the Hellenic Republic Asset Development Fund, when it was created and what's the scope of it? The fund was established in 2011 with a share capital of 30 million and uh, its sole purpose is to contribute to the relief of the Greek debt. We follow a very strict process uh, which uh, enhances uh, transparency, promotes uh, uh, market uh, competition mm -hmm. and creates higher and better values through uh, immediate and also uh, on-the-side uh, actions such as uh, increase of uh, uh, employment uh, uh, both in the local uh, micro uh, community mm -hmm. as well as uh, in the greater uh, area of uh, the country and um, it is uh, managed by a five member board of directors okay. it is um, uh, it also has uh, two observers who attend all of our board of directors meetings uh, and uh, they are appointed by both the European Commission and the member states of uh, the European Union. Mm -hmm. And uh, our process is also supported by the Council of Experts, mm -hmm. which are our gurus on uh, all aspects and all subjects that the fund uh, is involved at, uh, who they also uh, are a seven-member committee and they attend uh, all of our board of directors meetings and uh, advise us on uh, all the privatization actions that uh, we took since 2011 up to today. The, uh, the board of directors uh, um, recommends the asset development plan, which is our privatization program. And this is endorsed by the Greek government and it's also acknowledged by the, our creditors, by the institutions. Uh, this is a very, uh, uh, very ambitious program uh, that we follow strictly and uh, we follow it through a very standard process uh, from uh, initiation uh, from, uh, of a concept of, uh, of uh, a privatization until the, its completion, okay. where completion for us is not only the, uh, the, the signing off of a contract with an investor, but it's also all the side effects that we will have, all the positive side effects that we will have, that they come together with the financial closure as well as with uh, the additional uh, investments that uh, the developer will bring to the asset that he just acquired. Okay. Uh, 
so by saying that, uh, we have so far completed uh, more than 35 uh, large-scale uh, privatizations. Okay with our most recent success being the port of uh, Thessaloniki. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, 15 more privatizations that are either ongoing or will be in the or will come in the uh, in the imminent uh, uh, very very short uh, future. Um, and um, we are expecting to raise an additional 4 billion euros from these uh, um, 15 privatizations that, by, that added to the previous 6.3 billion that we have already achieved. Okay. Uh, we consider that the target of uh, 10 billion uh, by the end of our uh, official life which is in three years' uh, time from now, okay. um, will be um, uh, very well achieved. So the target is 10 billion, if I understand correctly. Okay. Excellent. Uh, you just covered this question for me, thank you very much. Now, we've seen when and why the Hellenic Republic Asset Development Fund was created. What's your overall target? And now, how could someone get involved with your program, with your um, uh, privatization program? What's the process uh, for our investors to get involved with it? All of our privatizations take place through a tender process. Okay. So we have a three-phase process where initially the fund issues an expression of interest okay. with a non-binding car character. All potential investors could participate in this phase. Uh, they have to comply with the minimum criteria that we set. And uh, then we proceed on phase two which is an actual, actual tender process where at the end of it mm -hmm. the investor would have uh, examined all the elements of the privatization and of the assets mm -hmm. and he will submit uh, his uh, binding offer where this offer will also be examined by the board of directors and uh, proceed uh, most of, in most of the cases on the third phase mm -hmm. where um, an improved offer is uh, required um, and uh, all investors who will participate on phase three will uh, um, also need to provide at the end uh, supporting material of uh, their offer. So we do not expect only a financial offer to come in our hands at the end of the day. Uh, specific criteria that will uh, uh, make a separation between the investor who is serious enough and capable of uh, taking uh, under his uh, arms a privatization so such of a large scale as the ones that we uh, actually uh, proceed with uh, in the fund uh, will um, convince us uh, that uh, he will be able to take uh, uh, to undertake this privatization all the way until its completion. Uh, in most of our uh, privatization so far we see a long period of uh, investment taking place and this means uh, that uh, we will have to work closely with the investor and we have to take him hand by hand to overcome all the obstacles until he completes his vision which uh, will have uh, uh, a great uh, uh, effect uh, both on the local community as well greater, uh, in a greater extent uh, for the country. Excellent. Thank you. Um, that concludes uh, uh, my questions. Um, wishing you all the best. Sounds Thank you like very a very, very busy schedule ahead. Um, again, my congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.